So the biggest challenge with this, the biggest part of the design that uh, is a compromise is the servo cap. The way this works is you've got this cable. Okay, the cable just sits on the on the vert on the uh, the uh, formica uh, of the altitude bearing. And as you might imagine, something on a flat plane that's going around an arc, it's iffy. Uh, there is a gap, when I take this off later, there is a gap in the, the Teflon pad uh, to keep it in there, but that's only, so you only have control of the cable within the, the Teflon on the ground board, okay? Uh, outside of that, it tends to get loose. Now, the key is you have to keep a little bit of tension on it, okay? If you keep a little bit of tension on it, um, it's less likely to come off, okay? Okay, uh, if you have too much tension on it, it's essentially locked. Okay, that's when it won't, it's not free rotating anymore, it's driven by the gears, um, driven by the servo cat. But that's, that's honestly the worst engineering on this whole system is the, the cable, okay? Again, there are, uh, tricks you can adjust this so that you get a nice stop point where there's enough tension where uh, it won't slide off it won't have enough uh, slack to slide off the bearing and it's loose enough where you can manually move it okay but if it's too loose it'll slide off and then it's kind of a, a nuisance um, i'd hate to try it in the dark basically when my uh, vertical slides off uh, i stop using the servo cat for that i just go back to manual so what else? Uh, 